Match three saw Nice Gary maintain their 100% winning record at the WCG, but once again they did it by the skin of their teeth. Bolling failed to make connection with Jack Sullivan's last four of the match, which sent us to our first ever super over. The Neros hitting a six with their final ball of the innings to make their total competitive. And Adam Mook with the last four heroics dismissing Nathan Hancock to keep them well on track for back-to-back -back titles. How's that on the other hand was staring down the barrel of an early elimination. But thanks to their skipper, who finished with 24 not out to see his side home and keep them breathing in the competition as we enter match five. Welcome to the WCG for match five of the 2018 Australia Day T20 Big Bash, which sees defending champions Nice Gary take on inaugural winners, how's that? The two victorious sides from the second round of matches play each other now, and they've both shuffled up a position in the table. Nice Gary up on top on four points after their victory over six offenders. With how's that leapfrogging wet up into the third and final preliminary spot, and a victory here again against the unbeaten Nice Gary. We'll see them put one foot in the grand final. Captains are in the middle for the toss. Scott of how's that to call. He calls flats. And it is a flat. Deliberates for a little bit, but now he's decided that he will bowl first. So it will be the skipper, George Paneros, to open up the batting for Nice Gary. He's only had the one knock so far in the competition. That was in the opening match. Looking to get them off to a good start. He'll be facing his opposition captain, Brendan Scott. So he comes in now over the wicket. The short delivery. It's hit the hand and it's gone over the fence. But it's come back off the shed. Would you believe it? A stroke of luck for the first delivery for Nice Gary. It's come back into the field of play, so it's not out. An extraordinary start to this one. Here is Scott Bowles again to Paneros, who lets it go outside the off stump. Very rarely do you see a ball come back into the field of play, but Paneros has got away with one here, and will be looking to make it count, post a big one for his side. Here is Scott continues again over the wicket. Swing delivery, and it's a good delivery, good length ball, which Paneros lets go again. Nought for nought after three deliveries in the opening over. Big start to a huge match here with the winner putting one foot in the grand final. Here is Scott will continue again. It's a full delivery and George Paneros plays and misses. Here, this is a good start with the ball from Scott. Paneros survives. Kerry Thompson will bowl the second over of the innings. Into Paneros now has driven it back towards him. He's stopped it, but it's going to roll into the boundary for George Paneros' first runs off the bat. A fortuitous boundary. It was a good shot and a good bit of fielding initially from Thompson, but unfortunately it's rolled into the boundary. Thompson to come around the wicket now to Paneros. Oh, now at the short delivery. Oh, and it's risen on George. Yeah, it's a good aggression shown by Terry Thompson, who didn't like getting hit before the previous delivery. That's a great reply. Hurries George up. Bang. Crunched through the offside. Absolutely crunched from Kevin Peterson. Nought for 11 after two overs. Maybe Costa Savas will bowl the third, and it's a great delivery bowling to his cousin George, who gets an inside edge onto the fence. We'll sneak through for a single. Nought for 12 after 11 deliveries in the innings. It's a great start here for Nice Gary. Neros moves to nine, not out, he's laying a solid platform. Savas bowls again. Oh, he could be out now. He is. Savas gets the breakthrough. It's a big breakthrough. As he dismisses his cousin for nine. It's another full delivery and it catches the edge of Paneros. Nice Gary, one for 12. Yeah, it'll be Adam Mook to bat at two for Nice Gary. The player of the tournament so far, getting his side home in both matches so far. Can he turn on the magic again? So it'll be Costa Savas to bowl to Mork, looking for his third wicket of the tournament so far. In now, it's a full toss, it's been hammered to the boundary. Mork can do no wrong in this tournament at the moment. To be fair, it was there to be hit, and he's put it away. Six runs. 
One for 18, nice carry now. As Costa Savas will bowl again to Mook. Shorter delivery, which is hit in the air, and this will be caught by Scott. That's the second wicket down. It's a big wicket of Mook. He goes for just six. And nice carry at two for 18 with one ball remaining in third over. Third and last man in for Nice Gary will be Josh Bolling. He's got six legitimate deliveries to get his side up towards that 25 to 30 mark. He cost the Savas looking for his third wicket of the over. Here's he bowls to Bolling, who hits him on the hip, but it's gone through to the auto wiki. And he'll have to go back. No run. Last over of the innings to be bowled by Terry Thompson. Nice Gary, two for 18. Thompson in now, it's a full delivery, he's been hammered to the boundary on the leg side. That's not a great start to the final over from how's that? But it's a brilliant start for Nice Gary and Josh Bolling. Two for 22. Thompson to continue to Bolling. He's in again and it's down the leg side and that will be a wide. This is not a great start at all to the final over. That'll have to be re -bowled. so there's still four deliveries left. Two for 23 now, nice Gary. Here's Thompson will go around the wicket this time. He hits it straight to Costa. He's going to take a single. Oh, and it's a run out. It's a brilliant bit of fielding by young Costa Savas. A suicidal run from Bolling. And nice Gary's innings is over. Our Zach will require 24 runs to put one foot in the grand final. A solid opening from George Paneros. A brief cameos from Mooks and Bolling. I've got Nice Gary up to a competitive total of 23. This will take some chasing for how's that? But with Scott in sublime form, can he do it again for his side? It won't be easy up against the tournament's best bowling attack. So it will be Scott to open up the innings for how's that? Coming off a 24 night out against Wet Up in the previous match to get them home. Can he do likewise here against Nice Gary? He'll face Josh Bolling for the opening ball of the innings. Bolling bowls, he's down the wicket and charges. He hit him away for four first delivery. That's a clear sign of intent from Scott. Picking up where he left off against Wet Up. They're off the mark with a boundary. Great start from Scott. What has Bolling got to reply with? He's in again now. It's another four delivery, but he's hit it straight into the bin. Scott is gone. That's a huge wicket. And don't nice Gary know it. They know they've now got one foot in the grand final. Scott gives himself some room and hammers it, but hammers it straight into the bin, and he knows it. One for four. So it will be Terry Thompson to bat at two for How's That. He's yet to score a run in the tournament so far. And How's That will be hoping that now is the time that the floodgates open. Here is Bolling. The bowl to Thompson. It's a full delivery, and it's just played back to Bolling. Antagonals is bowling to throw it back at the stumps, but he doesn't. Character is Terry Thompson. Loves a beer, this bloke. Yeah, hopefully, for now, how's that? He loves some runs. It's bowling bowls against another full delivery. It's played on the leg side. And again, he antagonizes Nice Gary to throw it at the stumps. He rushes back. His second over will be bowled by George Paneros. How's that? One for four. In now to Thompson, who hits it straight up in the air, and he's out. It's been caught by Mook, it's two for four, and how's that are in big trouble. Nice Gary are well on their way to the grand final. It's a leading edge in the safe hands of Mooks. Takes the catch. Young Costa Savas strides to the wicket with his side in big trouble at two for four. He's had a great match so far, but has yet to do any damage with the bat in the tournament. Now would be a great time to start. As he faces his cousin George, and it wraps him on the legs. And he's going to take a quick single. Oh, direct hit and he was toast. The reaction by George says it must have been close. He's gone for the quick leg by. Oh, and it was. And he was long gone. Two for five in the second over. Neros will continue to his cousin. It's a shorter delivery played on the offside and it's brilliantly fielded there by Bolling. Tightening their grip on this match. They're one wicket away. This result will be cheered by Wet Up as it now opens the door for them. As Costa has a swipe on the leg side, considers a single, thinks better of it. How does that require 19 off 10 deliveries? And 
the Adam Mook to go around the wicket. It's been hammered by Costa Savas, but it's been brilliantly taken by Paneros. That's a brilliant catch to end the match. He's got the better of his cousin there. Costa has smoked this, and on the second attempt, Paneros gets it. Nice Gary are on their way. It's now seven wins from seven attempts at the WCG for the franchise Nice Gary. As they've hammered the inaugural winners, how's that? By 18 runs in this fifth match of the tournament. And they're going to take some serious stopping from here. A bonus point win now for Wet Up. And they will pip how's that to that third spot. It's all to play for now as the competition is coming to the boil.